It's half past ten in the morning here at Catalan Bay and as you can see the beach is still pretty empty. Uh, but meanwhile here in the car park, I would say it's about three quarters of a way full. Now whilst many cars probably belong to people who live and work in the area, there are many vehicles that appear to have been broken down or abandoned or at least not have been moved for quite some time. The Traffic, Parking and Waiting Regulations Act 2011 states no person shall park any vehicle at any place for a continuous period exceeding 14 days. But some of these cars look as though they've been here much longer. Some look so badly damaged they no longer appear to be roadworthy. The legislation says a vehicle is deemed derelict if it appears not to be fit to be used or driven in compliance with the Traffic Act 2005. If it appears to be derelict or abandoned or have remained immobile in the same location for more than 30 days and if it doesn't have a valid roadworthiness certificate. Many of these cars clearly fall into at least three of the categories mentioned in the legislation, yet they remain in situ. One van had received four parking tickets, but this the Department of Transport has confirmed is because it is a commercial or goods vehicle. At three o'clock the car park is full. Afternoon beachgoers and residents will find it hard to find a parking space. In answer to GBC questions, the Department of Transport said that during April this year, the government had carried out a complete clean-up of the Catalan Bay car park and all vehicles were removed with a number of abandoned vehicles towed away and impounded. When asked if any plan was underway to remove these broken-down cars and trucks, the department quoted Section 43 of the Traffic Regulations Act, which underlines the process followed in the removal of derelict vehicles, namely to publish details beforehand. The Department of Transport says that anybody requiring advice or assistance should contact the Drivers and Vehicles Licence Department.